your mission is very close to my heart. When you think about the government's ability to tax, and that affects every one of you all in your future and every one of your companies and its future, it really is a dangerous power, and we need to watch it very, very, very carefully. And that's why, over the last 10 years, I'm proud to say, working with good members of the legislature, we've been able to cut taxes and fees over 50 times, 54 times here in Texas, for almost $16 billion. There's no other state that can come close to us. But you all have created, over the last 10 years, more jobs than the rest of the country. 1.75, almost 1.8 million new jobs over the last 10 years. That's unbelievable. Together, you've made Texas the land of opportunity. You know, I keep hearing every time I'm in Washington and, I'm, and we keep hearing the naysayers, the Washington crowd, trying to downplay the, the Texas miracle. But that's just a smoke screen to hide their abysmal failure in Washington. I've never believed that the real power in this country is in Washington. It's in the people, in Texas and in every state. It's the workers and builders and moms and dads and ranchers. And I think to continue the Texas miracle, um, we've got some challenges in front of us that we need to address. So I'm charging our Economic Development Committee today with the task of identifying right away legislative or regulatory barriers that could impede capital investment, growth, and expansion of Texas businesses. Next, uh, a subject that's in the news quite a bit, Obamacare. What effect is it going to have on Texas? So what I want is a very detailed study uh, right away on, on what we can do as a state to mitigate the penalties, the cost. What, what is that going to do to small businesses? I'm going to ask the State Affairs Committee to look, look into a practice that I believe is harming the state of Texas. And you've heard of the threat to business knows, known as patent troll, and they're called patent assertion entities, or PAEs. And allegedly, these folks prey on businesses across the state. And it appears that they've turned their attention to small companies that lack the resources to defend themselves, to mount a legal defense against threats uh, and lawsuits that are pertaining to their software. So I want to make sure that frivolous lawsuits and claims pursued by the so-called patent trolls uh, stops. During this session, the debate on House Bill 5, I think, revealed to me, at least, an ongoing, ongoing disconnect between our education system, our public schools, and the needs of each and every one of you all in business and industry. And I think we made strides. I mean, this year, ending teaching the test, where we're freeing up some 35, 40 more days of instruction. We need to do a better job preparing those that are planning to bypass college on the way to skilled jobs in the future. For those who do plan to go to college, we need to make sure that they're ready for higher skilled positions and putting more emphasis on the STEM fields. But I tell you, one of the fascinating things um, about, about taking the time and I've done this repeatedly over the years, um, and traveling the state is, it just makes you even prouder, prouder to be a Texan. I really believe this is a special place where anybody from any walk of life can climb heights as, as improbable as they are breathtaking. You know, Time Magazine talked uh, about Texas being the future of America. It's right in front of us. It's up to us whether we continue, whether we stay the course. I'm committed. I'm the only career business person elected statewide. I'm committed to do everything I can to help you and your companies grow even stronger and bigger. But we have to do it together. So I'm looking forward to working with you. God bless you for being here, and God bless Texas. Thank you.